Everyone, hi. This is Bruce Muffson, LCSW from Sunridge of Nevada. Tonight, hey, we listened. We asked, we deliver another Capital Steez, Eval Love. But before I go into that song, I want to thank everybody for the response from the thousands, hundreds of comments, I'm sorry, hundreds of comments and the thousands of views about his song, Free the Robots. I have learned so much from all of you and the outpouring of love and respect that you have had for this artist has only deepened my own appreciation for who and what he is and just how talented his lyrics were. I also want to thank people specifically who gave me information about his father's passing which helped me understand him and his thinking more and also for those commentators that talked about the sugar tax and put it in a clear context which I didn't really understand at first, that it wasn't that he was upset about the sugar tax, but more about, hey, be aware of everything else that's going on. This is so silly compared to the crack epidemic that's ravaging my neighborhood. Didn't realize that, but thank you guys for doing that. The biggest thing about this channel is that my, my thoughts have always been that we grow together and we learn from each other. Your comments to me have helped me do that. It's a culmination of what we've been trying to do for the last couple of years. It all came together like in a perfect synergy. And I want to thank you all for that because it helped me grow. It helped me understand him. And thank you all for letting me be part of this journey and to be part of that. So thank you again. Before I get into the song, I just want to clarify that I'm going to break down only the lyrics that I found clinically poignant to me so we're not going to do every lyric, every verse, but only the things that I found interesting. So here we go. When you listen to the song, what comes out right away is that it's almost like he's, you know, it's staccato. It's very angry. It's like, listen to me, listen to me. But how does he set that up? He uses a snare drum. And it's like that dun, 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 dun. And it's the cry of listening, be focused, hear what I'm saying, focus and pay attention. Now, they, we go in verse one and it goes, they never call it till they see that you're moving. Such a great line. Nothing happens in life, guys, unless you create a reaction. You have to move forward. You cannot stay still. Always move forward. Okay, then. And since I got my meal ticket, don't nobody want to turn me down. And before you would have thought that it would hurt to smile. Yeah, now that I'm a somebody, I'm no longer a nobody. Okay. You would think, you would think that people would be kind enough to throw you a smile even when you're down. Wrong. They see you as a nobody. Only until he became quote, quote, famous was he given the respect that he was due. Okay. People don't even pretend to care. And, you know, you want to think that really how they look at you, you're invisible. You're a ghost. You don't exist. But a great line like that. Then he goes down further down. In reality, we, we, we're we serving up our talent. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. You're underpaid, underappreciated. So true. Um, this is how we felt, how people felt about his music and lyrics and his value as an artist. Can I relate to that type of thing? That's how I felt my whole life. And I'm going to go into a little bit further why this channel was created with my agent slash producer because of our feelings about that. I love that line. In reality, we serving up our talent. Yeah, like on a plate. We give all that we have for nothing. And when I worked a lot closer with my agent slash producer in, in a company, we would have these stories all the time. We would give and give and give, give our blood literally, underappreciated and didn't, didn't appreciate our talents. It was all for naught. So I love that line that he put and it tells me how his thinking was evolving, trying to make this song and seeing all that was going on around him with the record companies, his friends, you know, Joey Badass, all it was kind of coming together for him. Now, then it goes like this. 
This damnation is ran by sinner still, middle finger to your pastor and your minister. Wow. It's his war cry. And it's his call to arms. It makes sense now how he felt about organized religion and the political establishment in his life. They were paying at best lip service to the problems and the carnage that he was seeing firsthand. You're expecting people in power and authority to look out for other people, but often you're disappointed. And he was saying, I'm seeing it and I'm not happy. And even though you know he grew up, I'm sure, with the church, he, he didn't find it appealing anymore. It wasn't meeting his needs. And he talks about it. And he talks about it on a first-hand basis on what was going on in his neighborhood. It takes a kamikaze to make any real change. I'm saying this now and learn this now, okay? Take on any kind of political order and a religion you have grown up with and say that I'm done. I, I get nothing out of it. I'm moving forward. We need change, and all that we're really doing is pretending and talking. We're just talking the talk. We talk the talk. We never come close to walking the walk. The reason why his words and lyrics resonate with me so much, this is how I want all of you to think. Make change in your life on a positive level. you got to rally against authority sometimes. I don't say you should be a sheep and just accept things. And when people protest, as long as they're doing it for the right reason and they're respectful, you should protest. You shouldn't just be sit by and let the order dictate things to you. Don't, don't be complacent and passive. And only be, be making changes in your own life will you make changes in those around you. That's my point. When you start making changes in your own life to go forward, finish school, get a job, save money, think things differently, go into a new career, be involved, only then do you create ripples for people around you to pick up your strength as well. I want to clarify something also, how his words kind of resonated with me and really kind of affected me, is that this is why our own channel was created, quite frankly. It's been almost now five years. I sat down with my agent slash producer, though at the time I didn't know what his role really was going to be, and we, we talked. And we talked about our message and our vision for bringing therapy to the world. We've seen now the last two weeks of our live streams getting country after country coming online. People from across the United States, East Coast, Midwest, West Coast, from Botswana to Iceland to New Zealand, uh, Venezuela, all over. I could just go country after country. We've made it. But there's so much more for us to do. But only because we said we're fed up with the system as it is, we want to change it. We want to be outsiders. And it started out with one video, and I think tonight is going to be 130, 131. Started with one video, now it's 131. No one got us. No one got our ambition. I talked to hundreds of people. I thought I was crazy. I thought it was, oh, nice idea, nice idea. It was kind of like patronizing. I get what he's coming from about the patronizing attitude. Didn't take us seriously. But now we've been able to impact people around the world. Our message to our listeners and to our viewers is that if we can do it, so can you. That's my point. Then I want to go with this in verse 2. The smile ain't the same no more. I looked up and the sky ain't the same. The sky ain't the same no more. I looked up what the meaning of life was and ended up with a fake smile and a light buzz. And you get cold. You get bitter and you get jaded and you realize just how fake so much of life really is. This is why he turned to mysticism, to numerology, astral projection, and the Indian chakra system. Conventional norms were no longer interesting or meaningful to him anymore. I got it. Now I got it because now I get it. Message to adults. If you don't give people what they need, they will find it themselves. If you don't create fairness, if you don't create real justice, if you don't create growth, if you don't promote friendship and growing forward and a sense of idealism that's joined together by everybody, regardless of their skin color, sexual orientation, people will find it themselves. It's like you know water going through cracks. 
If you don't create a place for the water to go, it will find its way someplace else. And that was great. Then he goes like this. I'm in the skies and the flight don't last that long. They said you're looking good. I'm glad to see you happy, dog. They clueless. I'm emotionally damaged. A lonely little bastard still growing as a man with intentions of only common intentions. <sighs> wow. I am faking it. I'm faking it. You look good. <laughs> Words meaningless. What does that even mean? You look good versus you look bad. It's meaningless. Yes, I am damaged and still trying to figure out who I am and what are my intentions really going to be as I grow into a man. Not a man, into a man. You have to find a mentor and you got to have a support system. I can't stress that enough. Then I like this in verse 3. The limit's less limited the further that I climb. Haven't said a shingle, haven't said a single tear, but I'm hurting down inside. Another great line. The more you climb, the more you realize it's not just a hill, like a 10-foot hill that you, you know, you got to the summit. You realize that life is so short, but really it's Mount Everest that you're looking at, 28,000 feet. I can only talk about myself and my agent slash producer. We started here and we keep on climbing further and further up. We realize for us that the sky, the Mount Everest is limitless. We want to go as far and as fast and as high and wide as we can. Yeah, accomplish one goal, then another goal. It becomes addictive. You don't need the drugs and alcohol. You don't need the stupid friendships. You don't need the false... How you doing good, man? Love you. Hey, care about you. It becomes a waste of your time because all you're focused on is your next accomplishment. And that's what he was saying about that. I love, I'm love. i stealing that line. The limit's less limited the further that I climb. Yeah, exactly true. And he also says this afterwards. Haven't said a shit sing. I'm still making that word, messing that word up. Haven't shed a single tear, but I'm hurting down inside. Yeah, okay, it's tough on the inside. It's not easy. You're crying on the inside. We've all been there at one point in our lives, being vulnerable, being feeling empty, feeling like no one understands us. I get it again. I understand him better from the first song that I did. I understand his mindset and why he was so conflicted on so many things. Finally, you thought that you were so clever, but ain't no such thing as forever. Forever, 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 ever, ever, ever. We think that we know everything when you're young. We think. But it's true wisdom comes from realizing we don't know everything and we have to rely on other people. And nothing in any arena will ever stay the same. There is change going on all the time. The same change, change is inevitable. And you must always be adaptable and flexible. That's a life lesson, adaptable and flexible, even more so during this pandemic. And to me, he's referring to himself and the changes that he had to deal with when things weren't going his way. You think, you think, you think, you know, you're all excited about a record label and moving forward and you realize it's not going to end the way you want it to end. And that's what got him feeling that, you know, those sense of I'm not happy with who I am. Last two lines. This damnation is ran by sinner still, middle finger to your pastor and your minister. That's his war cry. Don't be like everybody else. And it ends with the sticks banging together as well. Listen, listen, take action. That's what I'm getting from it. That's what I'm telling all you guys listening right now. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to push back. People, you know, when I see people in the street protesting, again, appropriately, you have the right to do that. When you want to change your life and say, I don't like the way the order is created, there's something wrong here. I'm going to get involved politically, socially, economically, musically. Do it. He did it. Now I realize why his music is, is still so strong after his death. I think it's almost like eight, nine years now. Because the words ring true. The lyrics ring true. Great artist. Another great song. We're going to do more of him. 
But thank you, everybody, for watching. Bruce Moff, Sinson Ridge, Nevada.